Right, we've got a really smart and tidy product to have a look at for you this month from Century. First of all, we're with Dave Springle, who works for Century now. Um, better known for their rods, really, aren't they? Yeah, I've been making uh, carp rods in the UK for over 30 years now, um, as well as the company does a lot of stuff with Formula One, which is quite well known. Um, so there's a constant influx of carbon technology, all made in the UK, and uh, the latest product we've got is the new Black Edition Bankside range. I've got to say, it does look ultra smart and tarty, mate. It is, uh, it's nice, it's been received really well. Uh, took a while to get it right, a couple of planned release dates that had to be put back to get the anodising sort of spot on, but uh, it's, uh, it's been in the shops for a couple of weeks now and uh, it's, it's doing really well. It's getting incredible, uh, incredibly popular, isn't it? This lightweight stuff Very. and the sort of dull down look and everything else. Yeah, definitely in the UK market, that's what we, that's what we looked at really. Um, the, the idea with this is wanting to make something that ticks all the boxes. So it's gonna be super, super strong, you know, mega light, uh, durable, last obviously, and, and look the part as well. The UK market's become very cosmetic now. Yeah, I've got to say, I used to work in a tackle shop many years ago, so obviously I've been well aware of the Century brand for a long time. And even back sort of 15 years ago, you know, it always had a, a really good name for top quality stuff. You know, all the rods, the fittings and everything else. That's right. And also it's sort of super, super smart and tight as well, wasn't it? Very much so, yeah, very much so. For the UK market, we've tried to move away a little bit from that, from the, from the shiny, stainless, blingy side of things and, uh, and tone it down a little bit. Just wanted to cut the whole thing down. Some people are getting a bit obsessed with it, aren't they? Weighing very much every so. item of yeah. tackle to get it down. Definitely, and if you know when the, the website, the new the new Bankside website goes live any day, and you know we've been quite careful to make sure that there's the, the weights of everything are, are included for everybody who's sort of into that sort of thing. Superb. Okay, so do you want to actually talk us through the range? And yeah, I mean, what we've done to start with is um, we've kept the range fairly limited um, and we plan on releasing other products in phases throughout the remainder of this year and into 2014. We've kept everything just with the 3K weave to start with, which is the sort of wider, chunkier weave that we do. There will eventually possibly be the 1K version as well we're looking at. What's the difference? The difference is basically is, is the if, if you look at like the waffle effect that you get from the car, and the 1K is the, is the really small, tight waffle. This is the this is like the, the, the wider, chunkier version. Okay. It's just a slightly different finish. It's purely cosmetic and uh, doesn't make any difference. But improvements that we've made, it's still got a stainless tip. What we did with the bank sticks is we didn't go to an aluminium tip because obviously that gets put in the ground a few times and it's, it's going to be finished. So we've, we've kept with that, with the stainless tip. These are now threaded, glued and pinned. So there's no way that they're, they're coming out. Um, they're pretty much bomb proof. The points are really, really sharp uh, and the stainless is strong. The tube itself is pretty much the tube that we use for the original carbon, Century Neville. Um, it's PTFE coated, so it's anti-scratch finish. It's very, very light and it's... I was going to ask you about the scratching thing. Yeah, a lot of people worry about it. The PTFE coating does make a huge difference um, and you'll find with these, uh, take them home, give them a quick wipe with a wet rag and they'll be as good as new. They're anodised. Black hard anodised, this is the thing that sort of delayed it a little bit. We weren't quite happy with the, the quality of the anodising. Uh, the anodising we've got here is as good as it gets. It's, uh, it took a long time to get it right. Uh, it's very, very hard. Um, it's very, very hard to scratch. It's going to stay looking good for a lot longer than your average black aluminium uh, stuff would. Laser etched in white. The inners are carbon, and once again, I don't know if you can see in the top there, yep. there's a screw in the top. So these, these again are threaded, screwed, pinned and glued, top and bottom. Just cover all bases. Yeah, we've got the, we've kept the, uh, the Neville style torque bar on the back. As with everything else you can see when they're done up, they line up perfectly square. Bank sticks are available in 8 inch, 12 inch and this one which is a 16. So it's three bank stick lengths available. That's uh, all you need isn't it? Yeah, I can't really. imagine you need any more. <laughs> Complementing single prong stabiliser. The old one we did was like the old double prong one, stainless, really heavy. Don't really need two prongs on a bank stick stabiliser. We've done a single prong one, again with a 3K uh, carbon, the black aluminium, but we've kept the, the spike stainless for durability. Very but neat. even with the stainless spike, it's, it's really, really light. Yeah. Doesn't weigh anything at all. Tightens up really well. It's lovely, isn't it? The other thing we've done with that is we've lost the torque bar and gone to a more conventional screw with that one because with the torque bar, obviously some people like to push it in and then tighten it up. You can't do that with the torque bar because the bar will dig into the floor. Gotcha. So this one just makes it a lot easier to use. So we've, we've gone to a conventional screw on that one. Good thinking. Uh, and then we've got a range of buzz bars. Uh, there's a couple of things we've done with these. Number one, 
they've got the same treatment as the rest of them, black aluminium fittings, 3K anti-scratch carbon, uh, very, very light. These uh, two rod ones, the narrow ones, weigh in at like 100 grams. So they weigh nothing. So they're, 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 they're right up there with the lightest of the light. Another thing I like about these, you know, I do like a nice little tight setup, and they're lovely and short. Yeah, that's the other main change that we've made. Um, the original ones we had, um, really, really wide, splayed out, rod tips pointing out at left angles and right angles, not, not really the one. We've revised all of the measurements, and what we've basically got is we've got a couple of different options. We've got three rod fixed and a two rod fixed, uh, and we've got those in a medium and a narrow option. Okay, so basically if you've got I don't know, like bait runners or something like that with wider handles, you know, you can uh, use the medium ones, um, which are still narrower than the old ones, so they still look better than the old ones used to, but they are they're revised and they will fit bait runner reels. And then if you, you know, like yourself, want to have your rods nice and close together, we've got narrow options as well in the two rod and the three rod, which are basically just wide enough to get big pit reels and tournament reels without having to fold the handles. So there's a sort of five or six mil between each reel Perfect. handle. So they sit cock on, they sit parallel, and they look really nice. And the adjustable ones, they're just too many moving parts, aren't they? And again, it makes them heavier. The whole, you know, the whole idea of these, they're supposed to be light, and if you start putting more collars on and more screws and threads and torque bars, it's just, most people have them set a way, don't they, and just leave them like that. So what we've tried to do is identify, you know, the, the right measurements to get everything sitting nicely, and then just, leave them as they are. Right, yeah, well, makes sense and uh, obviously look the part. Yeah, do look nice, yeah, do look nice. Okay, Dave, so you mentioned that it's already out. Is it available for most tackle shops? Yeah, all, all century stockists. Um, so basically, if you, if you go onto the website, um, we have a list of century approved stockists on there. Give those guys a ring, find out where your nearest stockist is and you should find them. Awesome, and like I say, there's more to come, so I'll be keeping my eye out for that, that's for sure. Definitely.